some were hoping Eric Cantor would become the first Jewish American Speaker of the House. But he Good reacted afternoon. swiftly to Tuesday's surprise uh, defeat. Effective July 31st, I will be stepping down as Majority Leader. It is with great humility that I do so. Cantor's opponent, economics professor David Bratt, called his upset victory a miracle. All right, everybody, uh, I want to give thanks uh, endlessly tonight. Uh, this is uh, the happiest moment, obviously, in my life. And uh, I owe it to all of you in this room, number one. So give yourself a hand. Bratt accused Cantor of supporting amnesty for illegal immigrants and their children, which Cantor denied. The Republican House leadership has rejected persistent calls by immigration rights activists and Democrats to allow a vote in the House on immigration reform. Asked whether the issue is now dead, political analyst Jeffrey Skelly of the University of Virginia says via Skype, any time a prominent member of Congress loses a primary, other members take notice. I think it will make it more difficult. Uh, to find Republican votes for immigration reform or to even, you know, bring it to the floor in many cases uh, just because um, a fear of, of angering uh, members, I mean, people on the right who will come out and vote against them in primaries. Other analysts agree that immigration reform was a factor, but believe that Cantor's defeat is more emblematic of a widespread disgust among many people with the establishment in Washington. Republican pollster John McHenry points out that a Senate race in South Carolina turned out differently. You see on the same day as Cantor loses, Lindsey Graham, who has voted for a comprehensive immigration reform bill, win with 56 percent of the vote. Democrats to took to the floor the of the House and Senate to say Republicans should not use Cantor's loss as an excuse not to act on immigration. Every time I talk to Republican members, business leaders, growers and faith leaders about immigration reform in the last several months, I consistently heard that the House leadership wanted to move forward, but they did not have Cantor's support. After this political earthquake, House Republicans will likely be busy with their own internal leadership battles in the weeks to come. Cindy Sane, VOA News on Capitol Hill.